We have some breaking news. We're just hearing that all flights out of Hong Kong have been canceled. Look at these pictures from inside the airport. Violent clashes between pro-democracy groups and police have erupted throughout the weekend. And now, as you can see, they are affecting one of the world's most important commercial hubs. Ben Wiedemann is live in Hong Kong with all the breaking details. Ben, tell us what's going on. Yeah, John, this is the eighth busiest airport in the world, and all departing flights have been canceled. Uh, 200,000 people normally pass through this, uh, this airport on a daily basis, but what we saw was well over 10,000 black-clad protesters coming to this airport. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, they occupied the arrival area. They didn't really interfere with the operations of the airport. And in fact, the protest today wasn't even supposed to take place. But in reaction to what the protesters say were instances of unusual police brutality, it was declared that there would be this protest today. So today, not only did they occupy the arrivals area, they took over the departures area. And I was up there watching as the protesters were physically stopping travelers from checking in to their flights. It was incre increasingly clear uh, that the opera, the airport simply could not function under these conditions. So all departing flights were canceled. At this point, surprisingly, the protesters, many of them have left the airport, although they are still downstairs. For those arriving passengers, they are chanting about police brutality. They are handing out pamphlets to arriving uh, travelers. But uh, as I said, this normally very busy airport has come, at least as far as departures go, to a screeching halt. Erica? Ben, thank you. Amazing to look at those live pictures. Just the sheer number of people in that airport. It is really something. Thanks, Ben.